Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. This time we have Read Books Aloud. The mod allows for use of audiobooks in the world of Skyrim. That means whenever you open a book, as long as you have an audiobook installed, it'll read it to you. Read Books Aloud is both a standalone mod and a resource for modders. By itself, you can download the basic audiobooks read by a computerized voice, which covers all of the books included in the base game and DLC. So, just so you can get an idea of how the mod works, here is an example of the computerized voice reading from the Nords of Skyrim book. Nords of Skyrim. Nords of Skyrim, my people, my pride. Respected reader, my name is Hothman Wolfheart, and I am a Nord. But, more importantly, I am a Nord born and raised in the land of Skyrim. I write this volume in the desperate hope that the rest of Tamriel can come to know my people as they deserve to be known, and understand this province for what it truly is, a place of uncontested beauty and culture. So as you just heard, the voice isn't too bad. As you might expect, it'll mess up on certain made up words like Dwema and the pacing will be a little off for certain books, but that's obviously the best you're going to get for a computerized voice. The mod was mainly designed to work alongside recordings from actual voice actors, like the readings done by Roy Kelly over on his YouTube channel. In fact, we asked him if we could use a snippet to show you and he said we could. So using the mod, we added Roy's reading of Forge, Hammer and Anvil, and here it is. Forge, Hammer and Anvil by Adolphus Eritius. Read for you by Roy Kelly. These notes were found in ruins near Old Hroldan. As best I can tell, they were written by Thorbald, a rather infamous smith who died shortly before Tiber Septim's reign. He was rumored to be illiterate, and given that these notes are obviously written by an assistant, that rumor is likely true. I have made no attempt to correct the texts themselves, as they may have historical value. Without further ado, the, the ramblings of Thorbald. This ain't no book for how to be a great smith, so if you're reading this, stop! It's just me own notes, cause I'm getting old and cranky and don't remember stuff. These be me own methods for making things. Iron armor and weapons. Lots of iron ingots and some leather strips. Steel armor and weapons. Lots of steel ingots, a little iron and some leather strips. Except for steel plate, it needs some core in them too. Leather armor and weapons. Well now who'd be stupid enough to make leather weapons? Leather armor needs leather. Big pieces and little pieces, just like hide armor and studded armor, scaled armor too. Well, that needs some steel too, and corundum. You can't make scaled armor without corundum. That would be dumb. <laughs> dwarf and armor and weapons. Uh, dwarf... The idea is that these voice actors can record a set of books and then easily compile them for you to download and install like any other mod. What's great is that other quest mods that add new books can also use the mod, which allows for a deeper level of storytelling. The mod also comes with a bunch of different options and settings in the mod menu. You have basic audio settings and controls like volume, play, stop and skip. There's also other settings that allow you to keep the book playing even after you close the book, allowing you to just listen to what's inside while you continue to play. You can also make it automatically pause during dialogue or combat. And that's pretty much everything there is to it. As of right now, there's a few limitations and bugs that mostly don't affect the player, but a couple do. One is that audiobooks can't be applied to books that already use scripts, which is done to avoid conflicts. The other is that the volume is lower in third person compared to your first person view. But it's all in working order, and all we need now is talented voice actors to compile some packs for modders to use. And that's the end of today's spotlight. If you're interested in the mod, then you can find links down below. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy using, and thanks for watching.